And finally tonight, to the wonders of technology. See if you can guess what this recent one-hour special on Channel 9 was selling. This is the day I've been waiting for. I never thought it would get this big. True heroes using technology. Does that feel good with it um, being a bit tighter? That's looking much better. This is quick for us. This is really good. To make a big difference. It is extremely exciting. It's insanely crazy. Changing lives. And then up, nice soft knees. I've kicked some goals. Yes, I'll say that. <laughs> and saving lives. Do you have any medical issues that we should know about? Oh, I do. Right across the country. Yes, it was spruiking the marvels of the much maligned National Broadband Network, oft described as a joke, a disaster, a colossal waste of money, or all of the above. But Nine's glossy, upbeat, everyday innovators had a very different tale to tell, with stories of how the NBN was bringing joy wherever it goes. From Paruma Island in the remote Torres Strait... Today, the NBN network has arrived on Paruma. The locals will have fast broadband for the first time. To our capital cities. Isn't it amazing that I can do all of this from Gold Coast, Melbourne? You've done a great job getting to the point you are now. Thanks, Julia. See you later. And in the outback. Great ideas and, and business opportunities exist for people all over this country and in every location. And everyone but everyone in this hour-long anthem had good things to say. So, how come? Well, as you may have guessed, Everyday Innovators was paid PR puff. NBN Co told MediaWatch... The content was produced by Nine on our behalf. We paid for a marketing campaign package with the network. According to Ebiquity, NBN Co has spent $2.2 million on advertising with Nine since Australia Day. So what part did it play in shaping the programme? Well, NBN provided case study suggestions to Nine and then... NBN provided sign-off on the content. Which is why we only heard from happy customers and not from any of the 13,000 people who complained to the telecommunications ombudsman last year about NBN services. Citing problems like... Slow data speeds, unusable services and dropouts. And which is also why stories like this one were ignored. So when the NBN goes down, we don't get a lot of great mobile phone coverage. The NBN went down last week for six days, so we get a dongle, a pop it in a plastic bag. We uh, clip it onto a rope that has been slung over a tree, just with a little uh, fancy clip. This is quite high tech. This yeah. is jungle internet. <laughs> they say you get what you pay for. So NBN Co got a full-length, glossy, good news plug in prime time, with not a naysayer in sight. But what did Nine's audience think of it all? Is this Everyday Innovators show on Nine just an ad for the NBN? Answer, yes. Next question. Who the hell is paying for this rubbish? I haven't seen a single disclaimer saying this advertisement has been paid for by NBN Co or the government or anyone else. Surely you can't just run these advertorials without some kind of disclosure. Well, you'd hope not, but you can get pretty close. There was no disclosure at the start of the show, nothing during the program, and nothing on Nine's website. So what about the end credits? Ah, yes, there it is, the NBN watermark. And believe it or not, that was it. No words, no voiceover, no signposting. And it's all within the rules laid down by the commercial TV code of practice, which in this case is a joke. And there are more programmes like this on Nine, as the network was happy to admit. We regularly have such content marketing partnerships in our schedule and believe that through Nine Productions, Nine's in-house TV content production and distribution division, we are well positioned to help brands tell compelling stories. Compelling, maybe, but not for viewers, who numbered only 169,000 across the capital cities, which saw everyday innovators beaten by 50 other shows that day, including a late-night repeat of Hawaii Five-O on 10. <laughs>